Hey guys, this is uh, Matt with HD Tutorials, uh, and I'm about to show you how to hide text behind uh, certain objects if you're trying to edit that behind it. Uh, I did this in one of my little promos, and some people didn't know how to do that, so I decided to show them how to do that. Uh, first, you want to open up your uh, Sony Vegas. It doesn't matter which any kind, but uh, you need Sony Vegas for this. If you're using uh, Windows Movie Maker, I'm sorry for you, that never works. But uh, P.S. You would also need um, you also need cookie cutter. Uh, the cookie uh, Sony cookie cutter uh, uh, works well for this. If you're trying to get it behind there, it would uh, it wouldn't work if you didn't have cookie cutter. You just use event pan crop. Otherwise, it would just go out of whack really badly. Uh, it takes long. It takes longer with uh, event pan crop if you're trying to do that. But um. Okay, uh, I don't care about that. Uh, first, find your uh, find the video clip that you want to use. Uh, this this actually took me a while to try to find it because I had to open up a new uh, make a new project. Uh, have I had problems trying to look for the video because uh, it didn't like it was uh, lagging because of the Cam Studio. And, uh, after, like, and I had trouble trying to find it because I named them. Well, it named itself. Uh, it was, like, out of 20, 19, I think? I don't know. It was, I don't want to brag on about this, but I was trying to find it. I actually, w I went to my videos, has so many other ones. Um, and, uh, I found, and I have this huge list of videos that I need to clean up. Uh, then I started looking for this, uh, a lost cause, it was, uh, yeah, I'm, I was trying to use something on that clip, but I kept finding the wrong one, and I accidentally used both of them twice, but I didn't know that it was the first one of that clip, and when I found out it was the first one of that clip, I went a bit too far, see, I used it again, um, then I used the final one, which is not the one I needed, and, uh, then I said, oh, maybe it's the first one. But then I went too far by one, I guess. And I deleted that again. And then I finally found it. Okay. Now, when you're trying to do this, try to find the spot in the video that you want to. So I'll just split that part where I wanted to right there. Which is pretty much him going past the base. And I delete these parts because you don't need them. Now, the main trick here is to put right under the text like put the text over the video clip that you want to use and while you're doing this try to uh... think of what text sample you want or what object you want it to go behind um, i chose what object i wanted to go behind uh... i didn't exactly want any other uh... i didn't want really such a fancy text so i decided to just use text and uh... put it at the point where i needed to uh, I did the wrong one right there. Uh, I was trying to go to uh, cookie cutter, which is right there. So I clicked on it. I click on that. It would. I accidentally added it twice. Stupid me. Uh, okay, it brought me to cookie cutter. And now think of the shape that you have to use. If it's a normal shape to it, then it would probably work well. And try to find the spot where you want it to go behind, and uh, you start from there. Now. Okay, the first task is uh, find the spot, which I did. It was uh, right on that base, the height of the base. So I went to that part. I found the shape that I wanted to use, and I started using that. But while I started, while I start doing this, uh, please note that um, you might want to uh, make the like you might want to bring the square and make that as a new keyframe, because otherwise, if you're starting to do that. It would bring the it would bring the text starting to make it look over than exactly doing it. So I recommend doing that. So anyway, so I found my shape. Oh yeah, by the way, you might want to do uh, just cut away section, not cut around it, because otherwise it would be so really it would be really hard to do this. And uh, work on for what I'm trying to do right here. I took my shape. I started moving the uh, the, the shape around it, so it actually. Uh, cuts off the part where it reaches the base. So as I did that, I did okay. 
the shape was a bit too big, so I put that down a bit. Then I found a new keyframe, which is going over it a bit, and uh, then I cut that down. And uh, early in, and uh, later on in this video, I have a bit of a problem where it disappears, and that was when the uh, uh, the it it goes away. The part where I just informed you about what you have to do, and I thought I should probably say that first. So, what I'm really doing here is making it sure it goes behind. So, I'll just... Yeah. And uh, by the way, it also has, it tends to have a problem when you uh, change it from a shape, like from a circle to a square, which I did because I didn't want to go back to a uh, circle anymore, so I used a square. And uh, I believe it went text and then it just went like that. It actually cut it off at that point, so I had to fix that. And that was probably one of the major screw-ups that I had there. You, you might have some screw-ups, it's fine, you can fix it. It just takes a bit longer. It's it's okay, but um, see, I started to fix that. Look at all the keyframes in that one little tiny area, because it doesn't take that long. Matter like how long you want it on there, it doesn't take that long to do it. It is actually pretty simple, and uh, yeah. So I'm fixing that now. And you might want to also go by keyframe to see if everything's aligned well. What I did, uh, what I'm about to do here, was I went from next keyframe to over a keyframe. See if everything's all aligned and going in. That's what she said. But um, if you do that, it would end up pretty good. And uh, I guess that's pretty much it. Uh, nothing wrong, nothing hard to do. Pretty simple it would end up just like that and uh... if you want to see the video that i did to do that uh, i pretty much put the link in the description and um... again or somewhat now uh... this is gta with uh... an hd tutorial and uh... uh... see you on the next one